is Ryan from GameRoomSolutions.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up MAME and run arcade games on your virtual pinball machine. Okay, so I just went out to uh, the MAME website and got the MAME 64-bit executable. I'm going to go ahead and install that. Um, where you install this kind of matters. I would install it in your C drive. Um, you know, you might make a new folder called Arcade. This is what I did on the, on the machine. So Arcade, and then I could make a, oops, and then I can make another folder if I wanted to, um, called Emulators, like that, and then make a new folder and call it MAME. Just so you, you know, this kind of structure is really what you're looking for here. So I'll go ahead and put it in that folder now. Okay, so once that extracts, we will uh, take a look here in the folder. So you can see here's our main folder right here. The thing we need to do next is create an INI file so we can change some settings to work with our pinball table. So to do that, you'll just hit the little search button here and type in CMD to get a command prompt. And once we're there, we're just going to basically navigate to this folder right here. So I could click this. Um, so here I'm just going to go CD um, or CD space, right click, and now I'm in that folder. So I right click to paste into there, and all I'm going to do is type in MAME64.exe. So basically, right here, it's going to hit that file, and then a space dash CC. So when I press enter there, that's going to create my INI file, which you can see it right here. So this has a lot of different settings in it that we're going to need. Um, the next thing I want to do is your ROMs folder. You can, you can create it anywhere. What I did is in the arcade folder that I created. So I have my emulators here. I'm going to create a file called ROMs. Like that. And then I could create another folder if I wanted to just called MAME to put my MAME ROMs in. I'll go ahead, I have one here. Um, if you need to get ROMs, if you don't know how to get MAME ROMs, a good torrent site is Pleasure Dome. It sounds like a porn site, but it's not. Pleasure Dome UK. Go there, create a login, and you could download the latest set if you wanted to. Get the merged. Uh, the merged will be the one that has everything together, but that's a quick way to get it if you need it. So um, I went ahead and just put this in that ROMs folder right there. So what I want to do now is we will make some changes in here to this uh, INI file that we created. It's best to use Notepad++. Uh, you can just download that for free. So one thing that's important here is to get your ROM folder, uh, wherever that's located at. And you can just copy this. And so right here, the ROM path, I didn't put it in the actual main ROMs folder, I put it in another one. So it's important that you put that there. So as, as you scroll down, you can see all the different, um, the different settings here. This is one that'll be important because we'll want to rotate main uh, whenever we launch a game. So it'll be vertical on our cabinet on the main play field. Um, see if there's anything else. We'll come back in here and make the changes after we boot it the first time. But just so you guys can kind of see. The other thing we're going to change here is the screen. Instead of auto, we're going to put which display we want it on. Okay, so just kind of letting you guys see that. Alright, so let me close that. I'll go ahead and uh, save that because it has my ROM location. So I will go back to my arcade emulators MAME. I can go ahead and launch it. Um, and see if it's on this main screen here, which it is. So you can see this all looks pretty good. Um, this would be if you had full sets of MAME right now. You saw I only had the D-Kong or the Donkey Kong uh, right there, so I'll just go to the available. But essentially what I want to do is come into configuration options here. And there's a couple things I can do. I can go to video. So you can see here, I'll leave that at auto. Number of screens, you're going to want to leave that to one. I'll show you how to leave the back glass on um, uh, like a marquee file, essentially, whenever you're playing a certain game. But this would just be set to one. 
Um, we want to make sure it's in full screen, so make sure the Windows mode is off. So we look pretty good there. Um, actually, let me make sure. Okay, yeah, the rotate's not on this one. All right. So we will go to advanced options, and this is where you can come in and auto rotate. So what you'll do is you'll try the right first. If, if, if it goes the wrong direction, you just turn that off and do the auto rotate left. And what that means is you can see here that my menu is, is landscape, but when it actually boots a game, it's going to boot it in that direction. So that's all we need there for that. Um, we'll try that anyways. I'm going to hit save configuration, return to previous menu. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click the game. So you can see it auto rotated. So again, if this is the wrong direction, um, then you can just turn off the right and turn on the left. We'll also get rid of this message in the INI file too. So I'll go ahead and hit enter. And you can see here that I have my, I can add credits, I can do whatever I want. Uh, real important here, if you press tab on a keyboard, that's gonna bring up how to do your inputs. So what you wanna do is do your inputs general, which means for all main games, you go to your player one controls. And what you'll do is, on player one up, you'll press enter here like this, and then I'll press up on my keyboard. And then I'll press enter again, and I'll press up on my joystick. So the same thing for up, down, left, and right. And then you'll also want to start doing it for buttons one, two, three, and so on. And what you can do is if there's a bunch of stuff already in there you don't want, you can just press delete, and it'll delete it out. And then I can press enter here, and then press uh, which button one I want to be on my on my on my pinball machine, same thing with two, three, whatever. So you'll probably do the three buttons if you're doing like a vertical setup. If you're doing six, you'll do all six buttons. Um, the next thing you'll wanna go into is other controls here. And you'll want your player one start. So again, you can go ahead and press enter and press one on your keyboard so that stays the same. Press enter again, and then press which button's gonna be your player one start, which button's gonna be your coin. Um, and then the other thing just to say, to show you here, is on user interface, you, this is where you could set up your pause button if you wanted to, but the one thing I wanna show you is down here to exit out of MAME, um, is right here, the UI cancel, so it's set to escape. You do not wanna set this up, uh, at least for the pinball, the way that we're gonna do it in the pinup popper system, because the pinup popper system is gonna kill MAME. You don't want this to kill itself, you want uh, the, the pinup popper to, to to stop MAME and then bring up the menu. So just make sure that this isn't set up to one of your um, one of your uh, uh, joystick buttons or one of your buttons for your controls. Uh, so you do not want that set. We'll keep it as escape on the keyboard just to get out of it here. So that's pretty much it here. So now you would be all configured up. You could go ahead and test the controls, make sure everything's playing like you want to, uh, and then just press escape on your keyboard to get out. Okay, so we're gonna make our couple changes here in the MAME INI. If you launched MAME and it wasn't on the proper, um, it wasn't on the proper screen since you're using a two or three screen setup, probably, I can right click here, go to edit with notepad, and there's a couple things I wanna change. One, I'm gonna scroll down to where I see this OSD per window video options. And right here for the first screen, instead of that being on auto, and I'll put this in the description, you want this backslash, backslash, dot, backslash, and then display. And this number, you can test it. So you can change it, you know, from one, two, or three. And, and when you launch MAME, it'll go on that screen. So between the, the, um, the auto roll that I showed you a minute ago and this, this is how you'll configure it to which screen you want it to be on for your main display. Um, I'll go ahead and leave mine at auto for now because it was right. And I'm on a different computer. So you guys can actually see this because my other monitor is 4K and it causes issues with the screen capture. So uh, paste that into there. Change around the displays as you test it to, to get it where you want. And then the other thing we're going to do is do a quick search for the word skip. Um, right here. And find skip game info. And if you just set that to one, then that initial screen that came up, um, that won't come up anymore. So I'll go ahead and save this off. We'll boot MAME one more time real quick just to show you. Um, so again, the auto roll would be on. It would be on the correct screen now. If it's not, change that display one or two to one or three or whatever it is to get it where you want. But I'll go ahead and boot Donkey Kong just to show you that it goes straight into the game now. It didn't do that little screen with the statistics on it. 
So I can go ahead and escape out of here. MAME is set up. It's working how we need. Okay, so now that MAME is set up, we're going to go ahead and set it up in our popper system. So go to your C pinup system uh, folder that we created from the other video. And we will go into the menu setup. So pinup menu setup. And the first thing we're going to do is go to popper setup. And we're going to set up the MAME emulator. So if you hit emulators, uh, you'll see what's set up you know the different systems that are set up in yours um, and then right here you can check if you want to emulate or active but what we're gonna do is hit this plus symbol and when you hit the plus symbol this is all gonna be blank to create a new system and I'll show you what I put in for mine this is the one I have working it's active so I just called it uh, called it MAME the description is arcade this is kind of important here this is what's gonna show up in the system so I um, I typed in arcade there and then for the exe folder that's uh, push the button there that's going to be your emulators your main folder not your roms folder but your main folder where that main 64 was that we were running a minute ago so just select that folder uh, this is important make sure that you select your roms folder that has the games in it so i have one set up called main v for all just vertical main roms um, so that's the one i'm using right now but yours would just be roms main if it was the other one so you just select the folder that has your roms in it here, type in zip um, or whatever the uh, the extension is on them. It should be zip though, so just ZIP for that. I went ahead and put my ROMs folder the same as my games folder because it is. Um, it says optional, but that's what I did and it worked good. Right here, when you go to media directory, you'll, you'll hit this button and you can create one called main. And when you do, it's going to throw a little bit of a fit at you saying, hey, there's not a structure in there because it'll be empty. And essentially, it'll ask you, do you want us to create... The format and I said yes so it created all of these to where later I could come in and say okay for the back glass I want this to show up um, and it looks good on the machine and it looks a little blurry here I'm not sure why probably the formatting but um, and essentially if you have it named the same as the game and I'll put links to how I got this um, but essentially I got this from the game X FTP you can pay them 15 bucks and there's a ton of stuff out there for pinball X including main back glasses um, it's 15 bucks will give you access to the FTP and then you can get um, all the back glasses and then I think I also got all the wheels for uh, for pinball X but I'm gonna use them for uh, pin up popper here so I just pasted those in they're the same name as the ROM and then they'll automatically show up in your system so that's how I got a hold of those um, I'll put a link over to those guys but essentially when you hit this media directory it's gonna ask you uh, create a folder called MAME select that as your folder it'll say hey wait a minute you don't have all this stuff in here so hit yes on that and it'll create that then again I just use the back glass is all I've used so far in the wheel um, to put those in all right so with that this is the other important part here um, keep displays open so when you boot when you boot into main everything that's pin up popper goes away so you'll see all your, your other two desktops if you're running a three screen system so essentially what I said is, hey, my back glass, keep that running. So it's going to boot onto my main screen. Let's, let's just say that that's display one. So that I, I would play Donkey Kong on that screen. And then it's going to keep the display open, which would be my back glass. So that way I kind of have the marquee still up on the top screen. So um, any, any one you want to do, you could just leave these on. Uh, but that's how I have mine set up. You would not want to leave on the the play field. You want to make sure that number is not here. Otherwise, it wouldn't. It it'll um, it'll go against itself. So that's what that's for. This is all set up. I will have the launch script in the description. So essentially, this is how you can boot in the emulator. So you'll just paste this part into the launch script. Leave all of this top line the same. This bottom line right here is if you went to another drive other than your C, you would type that in here. And then this is where you would just paste in, leave the quotes, but you would paste in your folder. So don't put MAME64 here. That wouldn't be it. It would probably just be MAME to get you to that folder. And then what you'll do is if this is MAME64.exe that you're running before, you want to make sure that that's it right there. All the rest of this would stay the same. You don't change any of this. So really the only variables is where is your MAME? Where do you launch your MAME from? And what's the exe file for MAME called you put right there? The next thing is you'll paste this in down here uh, to close it out. Leave this all the same, but just make sure, don't put the EXE on the end. Just put MAME64 if that's what it is. If it's just MAME EXE, then just put MAME, but don't put the EXE, just put MAME64. And that's it. We're set up. You can hit the little check mark here. We're good to go there. Um, that's set up in the system. 
So now what we need to do, um, I'm gonna double check my controller setup and just explain this real quick. What you want is whatever button you're using to exit out of an emulator. So in this case, it's my joy, it's my button six. Make sure, and in the other video, I, I explain how to, how to set this up, but make sure the system menu and the exit emulators are the same code or the same button because what it is is when you press this it exits the emulator but you would still just have a bunch of blank desktops and you'd have to push another button to get the system to come back but if you set them as the same one then it'll exit the emulator and bring pinup popper back up to the screen so that's the main thing to think about here um, now what we want to do is add our games so go into the games manager and you'll go to add new games um, you will select that new arcade or MAME or whatever you called it here and hit scan for new games. It'll scan your ROMs folder and list them all out here. You can select all. Push that. Give it a second to let it highlight everything. Don't get too over clicky here. Press that. And then what you'll do is hit add games to system. Only press that once. It'll stay highlighted. If you think it's not doing anything, it probably is. And if you press it twice, it's going to add them twice, which is a big pain in the ass. So just make sure... Select all the games, hit add games to system, just wait a second, it'll tell you whenever it's done and how many games it found. Don't start clicking these buttons a bunch of times. So once that's done there, uh, you'll be able to come in here and you'll be able to select arcade and then you'll see, I think I have 600 and something vertical games that were in my folder uh, that I wanna show up. So all the games have been added to the system under arcade. So now what we wanna do is we wanna say, well, I need to be able to find them in the pinup popper, right? in the main interface. So uh, if I go to playlist config here, what you're gonna wanna do is hit add new playlist and I added one and named it arcade. So add a new playlist, call it arcade, call it MAME, call it whatever you wanna call it. And then over here, select the games that you just added to the arcade. And I don't have any because I've already added all mine, but essentially when you select that, you'll see all the games here. You can individually add games so not only could you um, create one playlist called Arcade that has everything in it, then you could call one called Arcade Vertical, and then you could just start adding vertical games if you wanted to to that one. So you could create as many playlists as you want, however it is. Um, what I will say is if there's a long list and you want them all, if you just hit Shift, hold down Shift and press the down arrow, it'll highlight everything so you can highlight everything at once. So once you've added all the games to your Arcade or MAME or whatever you called it playlist, now it'll be visible in the pinup popper. The one other thing I'll show here is if you like 1942, for instance, you can right click it and hit add to faves. So that way you can create favorites lists within even this playlist of arcade. So once that's set up, it will show up in the, um, in the main system there. So I'll close that out. From there, there's one more thing we need to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit the setup. And in the other video uh, on setting up all the pinball tables, I told you to set the uh, pinup menu to run as administrator, but you don't want to do that. So when I hit properties here, go to compatibility, make sure this is not checked because I could not get it to exit MAME until I made these changes. So make sure that this run as administrator is not checked. But what you want to do is in the launch folder, there's a pup closer and this is what closes out MAME. This took me a little while to figure out. But if you right click that and go ahead and set that to Actually, I don't even think I had to set it, but what, I'm, what I will say is make sure that the, the menu's not set up as administrator, and if it doesn't close out of main properly, come into this launch folder and set up this uh, closer to run as administrator. I think I did. I'm just, I'm networked into my PC now, so you guys can see this clearly here, because again, that 4K screen will throw you off. But that should be checked, from what I remember, run this program as administrator. That should be checked. And once that is, you can run your system. You'll see all your tables. Everything's good. Um, the one thing I'll say too is go into control panel, system and security, security and maintenance, and change user account control settings. Set this all the way to zero. Because if you don't, then whenever you try to exit out, since you set that popper as run as administrator, it's going to pop up a screen and say, do you really want to do this? And it'll be super annoying for you. So just make sure and drag that all the way to never notify and press OK. And that's it. From there, you'll just come in and uh, hit your Run Windows Startup. Once you do, you'll see the um, arcade setting, which I'll show some of that on, on the machine now and um, through some of the games. But that's a setup. Uh, pretty quick, pretty painless if someone shows you how to do it. <laughs> a little less painless whenever you got to scour some forums to get it all working.
Okay, so I got this booted up here. And now I have my, uh, my playlist of arcade. And then I can go through and select the different arcades. Um, I can go to my favorites list that I added in the game manager. Uh, Please wait. I am now loading up the game. So you can see my back glass stays um, with the marquee up there. I can add my coins, press start, and then I have my vertical game playing. I can exit out. Um, I can go back, so that way I'm on just the big list. You know, pick another game, it doesn't matter. I'll just do 1942. That's a popular game. So again, Please I can wait. just hit play game. I'm now loading up the game. Game's there. Add my money. This will show you that the buttons work. So you can see there, I got my buttons going. I can do my second button there. And that's it, I can just exit out of this. Um, I can continue to go back if I want to. Um, or go back out and go into my visual pinball. Go into my other playlist that's just all featured tables. And again, I, I can play pinball, now I can play um, arcade as well. So that's it. Uh, make sure to like the video, visit GameRoomSolutions.com. Thanks.